What up, Fortnite fam? It's been a while, but I'm Matt and I'm back to give you the lowdown on everything you need to know in update 17.20 in under five minutes. But before we get into any of that, remember that if you want to improve, then you need to head over to ProGuides.com right now. We've got some of the best coaches around who want to help you become the best player you can be with some exclusive one-on-one -on -one coaching. They'll play right alongside you in your games to help supercharge your improvement so you can succeed in the next FNCS or Arena. As usual, let's start with the patch notes from the Fortnite status account. We're getting a bunch of booger stuff this patch. It's been about two years since the World Cup final, so this patch Epic is releasing both a new booger skin and a new booger's late game mode. The big news for this patch though are the new preferred item slot settings. With these settings, you'll be able to personalize your item slots to automatically place weapons in a specific slot in your inventory. This means you'll no longer have to struggle to flip your shotgun to the bind that you like when you first pick it up because everything will just automatically go where you put it. This is going to really improve looting and should make the game much more smooth to play. Next up, let's take a deep dive into everything the data miners have uncovered from the files this patch, starting with the cosmetics. On the skin side of things, we've got the Bogey Basher, Eagle Enforcer, Swing Sergeant, Pup Pursuer, Cart Champion, Pepper Thorn, The Stylist, Rap Recon, Lieutenant Look, Chic Commodore, Rap Major, Quick Change, Rap Trapper, Mod Marauder, Vogue Visionary, Customized Captain, Gilded Guy, and finally the new Icon Booger skin. For the Batblings, there's the Par Pack, Viola Royale, Hologlyph, Sleek Hologlyph, Slush Fighter Cape, and the Zoe Trophy. For the Harvesting Tools, there's the Dauntless Driver, Orbital Abductor, Future Proof Flail, Hollow Slash, Aquariax, and the Stellar Smash Pack. There aren't any gliders this time, so finally the two wraps, Inky and Pixelator. As for the other leaks, the Grabatron has now been added to the game files. This new alien weapon will allow you to pick up props and then throw them around. This thing is basically the gravity gun from Gary's mod, so it should be pretty fun to mess around with. Perhaps most excitingly, it seems like an event is imminent. The season may be nowhere near over, but new files for an upcoming event have been added to the game, which only happens when one is right around the corner. It seems to have something to do with this crazy abductor variant that was found by Fort Tory. It's likely that all of this is linked to the destruction of Coral Castle, which has been leaked time and time again over the past month. But then, even more exciting than that, iFire Monkey found a gameplay tag that mentioned an encounter with the Sideways. Why is that interesting? Well, it might just confirm a huge leak that include an Ariana Grande skin and concert, new members of the Justice League and Suicide Squad, including the potential of the Batman Who Laughs, an explosive kunai for Season 8, the return of the cube in this season, a complete map redesign in Chapter 3, as well as the location of the Seven, the Sideways, an extra-dimensional location that will release monsters into the game next season, and finally, rideable monsters and mechs that will come to the island at some point across the rest of the chapter. Pretty crazy, right? We've also had our first look at the new work in progress social tab that will be released soon. It'll be pretty interesting to see how this one evolves over time and the functions that it actually has in game. Okay, Fortnite fam, what do you think of this update? We've got updates and confirmed leaks all the way up to chapter three. So make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll be back in two weeks for the next update.